second half of the hammer. Dad. Dad. Cowboys tone digs his eyes are as wide as a deer staring into headlights. We have breaking news. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Donald Damn. is retiring. Yeah. Yeah. What? No. No way. Hey, Aaron, AD, game wrecker, Hall of Famer, GOAT. Congratulations on a hell of a run. Hell yeah. Out of Penn Hills in Pittsburgh, the East Hills of Pittsburgh. Actually probably drove by his house last night on our way back home to Plum Borough. Has done nothing short of represent his town, his family, his city, and football superbly. Congrats on a hell of a run, AD. We all appreciated getting to watch you wow. play football. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You were an absolute terrorizer of offensive linemen. The amount of people that lost hours and hours of sleep because they were playing against you probably spans and scans a lot larger than you could ever imagine going all the way back to high school, let alone in college at Pitt where you put an entire program on your back. You've donated so much money back to the University of Pittsburgh that you have your own workout facility there. So not only do you go ahead and make it, you also give back to your community, you give back to your university, you give back to your town. Aaron, you did it right, pal. You did everything right. Hey, in that story about you telling your dad, that he doesn't have to work anymore whenever you got paid is a beautiful thing. Aaron, you did it right, AD. Congratulations yeah. on a hell of a run. I did not expect this. No, not at all. I had no idea this was coming. Uh, what an absolute stud. And now the Rams are staring down a situation where they lose one of their pillars yeah. that we thought they were rebuilding with. Cooper Cup, Matt Stafford, you keep Aaron Donald. Who else is on the team? Uh uh, we don't know. That was literally the conversation yep. last year. Bingo. And they continued to win and win and win and win. And it was like, okay, this is McVay's future. McVay and Sneed and the boys want to build around these greats. We'll get some young guys that are cheap. And then we'll be able to still be in contention, even though the NFC West is a bear. And will continue to be because who's in it? Oh, the San Francisco 49ers. Now they're going to have to figure out who's going to be their leader on the defensive side. They're going to have to figure out how to add another game wrecker. That's obviously something for them to figure out. And for us, what's Aaron Donald going to do? He's getting into acting. He's going to be modeling. Maybe. He sure. He wants. He's getting lifting. Mm -hmm. He's getting Body the influencer. Building. Yeah. Because if he just get one post a day of him working out, just so, just like Debo. Yeah. yeah. James Team Harrison was doing, hey, what am I doing today? Oh, I'm going to bench 525 pounds. Okay, sweet. And then. Anything else? Yeah, I'm going to rep it, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to oh. do this 15 times, and then I'll have somebody put a little music behind it. All of a sudden now, I'm getting millions of views every single day because I am a freak whenever it comes to strength. The world is his oyster at this point. Yeah, very much so. And I was just looking. In 10 years, okay, his 10-year career, he made 10 Pro Bowls. So Damn, every, okay. every single year. Every single at year. At D-line. Those are at like, D when you're a rookie, D-line, interior D-line. Yep. Yeah. You're dealing with grown Grown ass men. Yeah, literally. So he's 21, 22 years old getting in there and just like, you're in my league now, straight into the Pro Bowl. What eight, a stunt, dude. Eight all pros, three time defensive player of the year. And a lot of those, a few of those defensive player of the years, it was like one of the few times in history of the NFL where you're like, hey, he should actually be, you know, the MVP of the league. Mm -hmm. Like, JJ Watt has had a yep. couple of those years. Mm -hmm. One of those years, he would say, Aaron had like two of those. The AD, Aaron Donald uh, had like two years yes. where he. 17, 18. He everybody won. was kind of like, hey, this guy's the best player in football. Yeah. This is not even a question. Anytime the Rams played, and this is very abnormal with the way NFL football had been going offensively. We want to throw the ball, we want to spread it out, we want yards, we want points, we want highlights, but we want this. Defense, we're cutting back mm -hmm. on how you can play defense. Figure it out. Be an athlete. <laughs> Can't tackle anymore, but figure it out. Stop them. Uh, felt like there was a time where they were going to be the Washington Generals, the defense, mm -hmm. taking on the Harlem Globetrotters. Mm -hmm. Like, can't tackle, can't, can't lower your head. There's a strike zone that's getting smaller. Can't throw the quarterback down. It's Get like, well, how am I supposed to play defense? In a time in which that took place throughout his career, he maintained being a violent mm -hmm. physical specimen that called for every single commentary crew to spotlight him and talk about him for at least two full series. Mm -hmm. There'd be another offense on on the field, yep. which is normally the topic of conversation. And all Chris Collinsworth, all Troy Aikman, what? all Tony Romo, what? all Stink, Mark Schlereth, all they're talking about is like, 
look at this guy in the middle of the field. And he wouldn't even make a play. He would get, like, triple teamed. Mm -hmm. Look what he's – he just took up six arms. Yeah. Like, yeah. That is every single play. It's like every play he was the focal point for offenses. There was checks. Aaron Donald this way. Aaron Donald that way. We got eyes on 99. I think the different names. I assume this is going to come out from teams and from ex-offensive linemen. The things that they would call their protection going in against the Rams to deal with that thing that was in the middle of it. I assume that will continue to roll out. AQ has told stories about how mm -hmm. before yeah. we're even calling a play, we are trying to figure figure out where the hell 99 is. Yeah. And then once you get a little bit of a beat on where he is, okay, now we'll go into that play. And then you would motion, and he was one of the first interior D, D linemen. I'm, I know there's been others in the past. But if you ran a motion, he knew what you were doing. So he wasn't just like middle linebacker, Luke Keekley they talk about, understanding the formation, oh, this is the play you're going to run. Safeties, Troy Paul Mollu, mm -hmm. he knew exactly what you were going to do. At the interior D lineman spot, not easy because your hand's in the dirt. Mm -hmm. You don't have eyes on everything. Thing, but Aaron Donald somehow, with like a sixth sense, had the ability to know what you were going to do because of how either a guard was lined up, mm -hmm. a motion that you did, and he would make his own shifts before plays would be snapped and just ruin everybody's game plan. He was, hey, what a beast, dude. I am bombed that. Yeah, yeah, seriously. He's too big, too strong, too fast to be as good as he was at football, Yeah, and now we don't get to watch it anymore. Yeah, who's going to train with knives now? They were real, too. They were. I forgot, I, yeah. I forgot about him training with knives in the offseason. Who's mm -hmm. going to do that now? And don't forget, he he was the one who put the pressure or sacked Burrow at the end yeah. of the Super Bowl to, yeah. to, to, to win the thing for them. And Chase was open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That yeah. would have been Bingo. a touchdown. Yeah. Yep. Cincinnati Bengals win Super Bowl, if not for Aaron Donald saying, oh, I make one play, we win a Super Bowl, and then immediately – doing this number here. How about he was the guy that sprained both of Carson Wentz's ankles on one play? <laughs> yes, That's he was. Right. People yep. forget about that. Yeah. yeah, some of his photos. Like If you just search Aaron Donald absurd photos, there's that one of him like in the air getting held by two guys. Jumping through. Splitting them. Yeah, like, yeah, he's a freak of nature. That really sucks. I did not expect that whatsoever. He's, he's like an... He somehow has the feet of a ninja. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. While also having so the nimble. power of a Debo. Mm -hmm. Like I, it didn't. He, he didn't make sense. So jock. He's supposed to be on the outside too. Like mm -hmm. if he was just on the outside, one on one with a tackle, who knows what his numbers would be? Ooh. Who knows? If he focused full time on just being outside pass rusher, defensive end, outside linebacker, who knows? Instead, he's inside dealing with two to three people every single play, still wreaking havoc because he's training with knives. That's right. Because mm -hmm. his hands were phenomenal. His body, man, what a player. That sucks. This is yes. supposed to be a feel-good Friday, Aaron. Why don't you, why don't you do it on a Monday? Yeah. It's feel-good for him. You know, great career. He's going off into the sunset. I agree. I'm just I'm talking. No, no. What about us? Me too. Tony, I'm, talking, me too. I'm hungover, and I'm bummed out. You're right. right. We didn't need Super that. Super bombed that. Today, we did. This is not the day that we needed. We didn't need that. The tornadoes come through town. Exactly. Couldn't fly in. Had to drink all the booze and plum. Yeah, no, choice. no choice. And then all of a sudden, East Hills legend of Pittsburgh. Yeah. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, Look at that thing. No, but running back. Like that. Look at that. Oh, he must be like 210 pounds because he weighs that It much. really does look like he weighs about 220. Nope. Yeah, no, he's like 265, <laughs> 270. This guy's 280. Um, 285 pounds. It is crazy, too, that, like, I mean, I, I guess going out on your own terms, but he feels like he would have been the guy, like, made the Pro Bowl every single – he's still – he's still – as elite as elite gets to just be like, you know, I know after they won the Super Bowl, he kind of had that, like, I don't know how much longer I want to do this. But then it was kind of like, no, him, McVay, and Stafford are all on the same page. They want to come back and try to get another one. Like, I don't know. It's just it's just crazy to think because we always talk about, like, guys never want to retire when they're at the top of their game. Like, he could have done this for another seven to ten years, it feels like. Yeah, I um, a couple years ago after the Super Bowl, if he would have retired, I think we all would have been like, hey, do your thing. Yeah, Accomplish everything. Then he said he, said he got to. like addicted to the confetti. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or somebody else said you can mm -hmm. get addicted to the confetti and he wants to do it again. So then he came back and we were all super pumped about it. I guess we should have understood that it was probably house money we were playing with with Aaron Donald's entire career. But nonetheless, good on you. Congrats. Oh, yeah. You did good, bro.